I'm Nathan Ray, this is Jam Tester 2016. I think I've found one of the most chilled out groups at the moment, making great use of the beanbags and things. A bit too good use of the beanbag for that day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, who are you and where are you from? I'm uh, Philip Davison, I'm from Sunderland. Sunderland? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Chris Sale. Yeah, uh, Jack Leeds. Leeds. That's you from all over the place. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, we all we all live locally in Manchester. Yeah. Um, so we should have all just said Manchester. Yeah, we should have just said Manchester. <laughs> and who's this guy down there? Uh, that is Corey. Who yeah. Also, is. Yeah. Are you a student team then? Or? Um, no, no. We are recent graduates who graduated last year. Um, Great. You don't get to qualify. And we don't qualify for the. Yeah. <laughs> As you know, you only qualified for one award then, do you? <laughs> we should have just took a Masters. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, are you working with the... Um, with the, uh, the uh, we are, yeah. Um, we weren't going to, but last minute, the idea we came up fit perfect for the VR. Yeah. So, um, now we're doing VR. Even our programme has never used Windows, phones or VR. Um, that's what jams are That's what jams are for, yeah. Having fun, trying new things. Uh, Chris has got experience with the Oculus though, so um, it's a bit of a crossover there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, so what's the idea then? What's the idea of the game? Um, it's basically it's uh, it's sort of themed on a guy doing a jump from space, um, and the theme was that you have already won, and the idea was that his feat was already like the most amazing jump ever by a man. Yeah. So he's sort of peaked there and won in terms of that. Uh, so then in order to sort of try and carry on and like as an old man he's sort of looking back on it and he can't really uh, improve on that. He's so kind he, of chasing that old yeah, dream. Yeah, yeah, chasing yeah. the old dream. So he, he keeps going back in time to try and beat his old jump right. as a young man. Um, so yeah, basically you keep um, performing these increasingly ridiculous jumps um, and you're sort of you've got to complete objectives along the way um, like narrowly missing uh, obstacles along the path uh, before each sort of run you get shown your objective in the the future that that has already occurred in yeah. um, and if you fail to uh, achieve these then you'll mess up the space-time continuum so <laughs> A bit abstract, <laughs> a bit awkward to get across, yeah. but it's a lot of fun. Does it kind of work when you when you put the VR gear on? Then, or have you not got that? Point? Sort of, not really. <laughs> um, we, we've got like we've got a lot of individual things that work. Uh, it's just sort of getting them to work together at the moment. Sure. But we're um, yeah, we're new to the the Microsoft phone stuff. Has that um, been the biggest challenge so far then? Working definitely. Uh, we were originally planning <laughs> to use FMOD for the sound, uh, Phil was going to do that, but um, unfortunately the Windows phone we've got access to isn't compatible with FMOD anymore, so we've got to uh, just do that manually. Um, we've also had issues with the accelerometer, um, and we just getting it running originally was um, a big issue, but we've managed to get over that now. Did they so, get some Microsoft help? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, it was one of the case of uh, they came over and all of a sudden everything worked fine. But you know, <laughs> always the case. But yeah. That's what jams are for. Exactly. What are you working on over here? Uh, I'm, I'm the art guy, which is kind of nice because they're all having problems and I'm just like, I make the pretty boxes. <laughs> that doesn't really change whether you're doing VR or... Um, yeah, it's always just making things out of boxes, basically. So yeah, I've just been um, finishing up the um, future environment where you're in like, this room and you've got like a desk with like your newspaper cuttings and you've got to try and memorise your route before you go back in time and so on. Sure. And uh, have you got your head around the time travel aspect of the game yet? I don't think anyone ever understands time travel. The, like, the like story's like, very convoluted, but like the actual gameplay won't really. It, it's always just going to be that same one moment in time anyway. Yeah, so like and taking a different route. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, like basically, we'll just get that across through newspaper cuttings, and yeah. it'll be right. Like Sounds it's good. fun. <laughs> And uh, you said you have to come up with the sound then, have you... Yeah, sort of um, the issue basically was that uh, I was using F-mod the, F the middleware um, and they don't support Windows 10 just yet. Um, so we couldn't get our hands on a Windows phone with uh, Windows 8 on it. So I'm now just um, 
putting it direct into Unity, which means I'm having to set up loads of snapshots to fade in between to mix the levels and stuff like that. It's pretty simple, it's just more time consuming than if I use the middleware. Sure. But uh, it's coming along. It's right. What's this guy been doing then? What's That's our programmer right. um, who hasn't slept yet. So he is good when he's awake, but uh, we'll give him a break, you know. <laughs> he's earned it, definitely. Yeah, he's earned it, definitely. Okay. Yeah, well, he's, he's on the timer, he's only allowed to sleep for so long. Then, yeah, so. yeah, well, he's got to lunch. <laughs> Excellent. Right, well, thank you, uh, Lobster Tails. Thank you very much. Cheers. 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 Thank you.